All right, guys, have you ever wanted to just load up your truck, hit the road? I know I sure have, so that's what we're gonna be doing. But at first, I've gotta get things ready. Uh, as you see, I've got my Palomino camper. I added some Ryko Titan swing away jack plates. And unfortunately, those still will not go around my pickup truck, the rear wheel wells of my pickup truck. So I gotta add yet another extension on there. And so we're gonna do that, but we're gonna head up to New York this week and, and next week and just do some fishing. Been working really hard on my house to get my house ready for a potential sale here in the future. So, you know, been, been putting in a lot of hours on that. Sorry I haven't been posting so much, but you know what? You know, let's get this fishing adventure started because I need one. And I'm sure after all this COVID-19 stuff, you need one too. So let's get going. All right, so I have no idea how the lighting's gonna be, but as you can see, this is a four inch, very sturdy plate that I'm gonna add to these Ryko Titan swingways that are pretty nice to have, actually, if you got kind of a garage set up and trying to keep this indoors. You know, that makes sure that they don't extend out and make it even harder for me to get my boat in here. You know, it's tight squeeze, but it, it's, it's very doable. This is a 20 foot garage. I've got 12 foot high ceilings, uh, well, 12 foot high garage door clearance. It actually goes up to about 14 uh, or maybe 16 feet. I forgot, I built it <laughs> and I forgot how tall I, I built it, but I can raise this up inside of here and actually load it on the truck. So pretty good there. All right, I got the uh, torque lift super hitch down there. Allows me to put on this super truss extension bar. Uh, you know, it's a little offset when I had it installed over at Trick Trucks in Edgewater, Maryland. What I'm doing right here is adjusting this bottom brace bar and just needs uh, 3 16 to get it done, but that's what I'm doing. All right, just so you know, with this product, that, uh, that gives me 14,000 pounds of tongue weight capability. Now my, tr uh, my trailer for my boat, my boat and trailer, all combined maybe around 5,000 pounds or so total and uh, you know that puts about a 500 pound weight on the tongue so these are all things that you have to factor in to consider you know this is why I bought a brand new truck or a newer truck and because this one's payload capacity is around 5,000 pounds whereas my other one's payload capacity was around 2,000 pounds and this thing's barely at 1,800 pounds. So 1,800 pounds, 500 pounds, 500 pounds, you know, people or equipment and so forth, quite over that capacity of what that other truck could handle, which is why I upgraded. And, uh, you know, it's taking a little bit to get it to where, hey, it'll all work together, but it was worth the, uh, it's gonna be worth the effort. Therein lies kind of, you know, one of the costs, one of the hidden costs I didn't realize when, when switching a truck, because I already had the torque lift on that other truck and I was like you know what let me uh let me just take that off put it on this truck well it doesn't work like that because these are factory made to custom match the truck and the model of the truck style of truck all of that so I had to buy uh extra one another one so you know therein lies one of the costs that I already had luckily I already had fast guns the, the swing out jacks that you can see right here those are about uh 400 to 500 dollars depending on style of camper and then I had to get an extra couple plates in there. Those plates are about $200 or 150 to $200. I got to find where I put that caulk ash now. Whee! Here we go. Again, most of them, you know, really look pretty good overall. I'm going to make sure I don't hit my head since I've got this raised. All right. So kind of show you one of the reasons why I wanted to do this. You see how that's kind of separated and cracked and it's exposed kind of the ledge of this guy right here. You know, that's a, that's definitely something in my mind is a uh, potential to fail right there. So, you know, that's one of the things I'm definitely going to touch up some of this, like this one's kind of got a bubble here and this stays inside 90 <laughs> all the time, pretty much. But overall, I'm going to touch up anywhere I see kind of cracking. And so that's what I'm going to do. So let's get to it. Let me, uh, let me just say that if you're thinking about buying one of these, always get on top of it when you're buying it. I went to a uh, 
a very large dealership and uh, got on the top of it, found some areas like this to where I was like, you know, I'd like to have that, that patched. And their immediate response was like, oh, well, it, it's good. We, you know, we, it's been through check through and we checked it. And it's like, no, 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 you, you, didn't, you didn't hear me correctly. Um, you're gonna patch this before I buy it. <laughs> so, you know, don't let anything that a, uh, a salesman will do, they'll try to be like, oh, you know, our techs looked into it, looks fine. Like if you're unhappy with it, and if it looks out of like whack, like if this roof were at all spongy, I would not buy it. 100% would not buy this. And the same goes for the floor. Like I was almost, I was to the point where I was going to buy one until I stepped in it again, you know, stay in there for, for a good while. Stay in there combing it over for a good while because you know what? You know, I almost was to the point to where I was gonna sign paperwork and everything and take it home, put it on the truck and you know what, I stepped back in there and I, I felt the floor be a little spongy and I was like, wait a second, I, I didn't feel that well ago. And of course the immediate response by the salesman was like, oh, don't worry about it. We had the tech, the tech checked it out. It, it's, it looks fine. If there's anything spongy, no, it's wrong. And it shouldn't be that way. And just use that, that common sense that says, you know what, be careful uh, when you're buying this. All right, guys, so that is, has been a long ordeal to try to get this camper on this truck. Finally succeeded. Ran into yet another problem. My wheel wells were kind of too far out, and thus I couldn't get my turnbuckles on. So I had to kind of engineer something uh, to be able to get my turnbuckles, and I'll show you what I mean right there, so that I could hook my turnbuckles up, because you absolutely have to have turnbuckles on these campers. Otherwise, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe. As always, don't back up, don't back down. We took a lot of that today. A lot of not backing up, not backing down, and staying out of getting so super frustrated. Just solve problems and created solutions.